Do you know about the special vaccination dangers for small and medium-sized dogs? A study published in 2005 in the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association examined vaccine reactions reported up to three days after vaccination in a group of 1.2 million dogs. Researchers found that small to medium-sized dogs have a far greater risk of vaccine reaction when getting multiple vaccines during an office visit. A single combination shot contains multiple vaccines. Reactions selected for inclusion in the study included nonspecific reactions, whatever those are, allergic reactions, hives, anaphylaxis, which is severe systemic allergic reaction, cardiovascular shock, cardiac arrest, and sudden death, but only if they occurred within 72 hours of vaccination. Certain factors were shown to increase the risk that your dog will suffer an adverse vaccine reaction. Size is one of them. The smaller the dog, the more likely the reaction. The risk for dogs 11 pounds or less was four times greater than for dogs weighing more than 99 pounds. Neutered and spayed dogs had a 27 to 38 percent greater risk compared to sexually intact dogs. By the way, never vaccinate during or within weeks of any surgery. Dogs approximately one to three years of age had a 35 percent to 64% greater risk of reactions. Of breeds studied in order, Dachshunds, Pugs, Boston Terriers, Minpins, and Chihuahuas reacted most often. Then came Maltese, Miniature Schnauzers, Jack Russells, Toy Poodles, Yorkies, Boxers, Poms, Pekingese, Shih Tzu, and English Bulldogs. Next, Lhasa Apsos, Weimaraners, Bichon, Beagles, American Eskimo Dogs, and Cockers. In all, Reactions in 43 breeds were analyzed. Breeds with fewer than 5,000 vaccinated dogs were not studied. Reacting least often were large breeds like Chows, Rottweilers, and Shepherds, and also mixed breeds. The number of vaccines per office visit proved very important. The risk of vaccine reactions significantly increased as the number of vaccines per visit increased. Taking all sizes of dogs into consideration, each additional vaccine Giffen at an office visit increased the rate of reaction by a whopping 24%. This means that giving three or more vaccines in one visit increased the risk of vaccine reaction by 50%. Five vaccines given at once, a common practice, doubled the risk. Dogs under 10 pounds experienced twice the risk big dogs experienced from each additional vaccine dose. This is really important. A single combination shot can contain up to seven vaccine doses. Add kennel cough and you get eight. Add rabies, which should never be given with other shots, and your dog gets nine doses at once. If you have a small dog, be especially wary of the leptospirosis vaccine. This is the L in a combination shot with a name like DHL PPC. Writing about lepto, the World Small Animal Veterinary Association reported, Routine vaccination of toy breeds should only be considered in dogs known to have a high exposure risk. They added, this product is associated with the greatest number of adverse reactions to any vaccine. Chances are your dog got this dangerous shot even if contracting leptospirosis was all but impossible. So why do small and medium sized dogs experience a greater likelihood of reactions to vaccines? The study's researchers said only, vaccines, in contrast to virtually all veterinary pharmaceuticals, are prescribed on a one-dose-fits-all basis rather than by body weight. That means big dogs and tiny puppies get exactly the same dose of virus or bacteria, plus chemicals like aluminum, antibiotics and foreign tissue like fetal calf tissue, and preservatives like mercury. All can cause reactions. What should you do to prevent vaccine reactions? The researchers suggest only that veterinarians should communicate the increased risk of multiple vaccines to clients before obtaining their consent to vaccinate. But have you ever been warned about the risks of multiple vaccines for your small or medium-sized dog? Have you been warned about the leptospirosis vaccine? If not, ask your vet if he or she read the journal article discussed in this video. 
Has he or she read the World Small Animal Veterinary Association vaccination guidelines or the American Animal Hospital Association Canine Task Force report? Find links at dogsfordogs.com shots. If your vet ever vaccinated your dog without informing you about each vaccine's risks versus benefits, or vaccinated without obtaining your consent before vaccinating, your vet violated the legal doctrine of informed consent and should be reported to your state's veterinary medical association while you find a new vet. Learn more about vaccinating small and medium-sized dogs at truthfordogs.com. Click Small Dogs. Find also a link to a study about adverse reactions after vaccinating cats.